So Tom, we're here today to collect an, a really amazing and rare animal from the COTS control vessel. Yeah, so it's actually the main predator of crown starfish. It's basically their wor worst nightmare. As soon as a crown starfish can sense that this predator is near, they just scatter. So who is this fearsome predator we're talking about? Uh, so it's the giant trite snail. A which snail? Is a snail, yeah. So it's one of the biggest snails on the Great Barrier Reef. It's about, say, 40 centimetres long and it's pretty much their full-time job to go around eating pranathorns. And I understand Ames is doing research into how these predators can be used to better manage COTS outbreaks in the future. Yeah, so we've been looking at the uh, predator-prey response of uh, pranathorns. It basically shows that if this predator's near, the pranathorns will just scatter in every direction. They've got an enzyme that makes them immune to the, um, the saponin that the crown of thorns release. The Marine Park Authority runs a crown of thorns starfish control program and the Pacific Marine Group vessel was tasked with the special assignment of collecting these giant triton snails to support Ames research. Yeah, uh, exactly. So uh, with these triton snails we're able to gain a far better understanding of uh, their life cycle and how they interact with their environment, uh, crown of thorns in particular. Uh, which is really important because trying to study them in the wild, they're so rare that we can't reliably go out to find them to do any actual experiments. So having them back in any controlled conditions where we can introduce them to crown of thorns and test their behavioural responses, is um, it gives us a heap of information to work with. So we're really happy to be supporting Ames research on COTS management through the Marine Park Authority's Crown of Thorns Starfish Control Program.